We just received an MCC development update talking about the seasonal point exchange as well as the custom game browser and how everything is going to come to work in Season 6. So stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. So as we do every Friday, we get a nice little development update for the MCC. So Postums went online and gave us a good amount of information about the seasonal point exchange, which is kind of like the MCC store, if you heard that going around recently. And at the end, they gave us a little bit of a tidbit for information when it comes to the custom game browser. If you guys like these news and informational videos and want to see some more content like this, make sure you tap that like button. Let's me know you want to see some more content like this. If you guys want to stay updated with everything going on with Halo as we ramp up to the release of Halo Infinite, make sure you tap subscribe. Let's get right into the content here. So the exchange is going to be a place where you'll be seeing content you can use your seasonal points in to unlock more items. 343 stated this specifically saying, we began designing the season point exchange. We had two primary goals in mind. First, we wanted to create more incentive for players to engage with our progression system and afford them more choices in what they unlock. Second, we wanted to create an opportunity for players with a surplus of seasonal points, SPs for short, to spend them on items they may have missed out on initially. As an additional goal, we also wanted to minimize the fear of missing out or FOMO associated with this experience. So essentially, this is just going to be a way to unlock more stuff. This is pretty much like I think will actually really help out engagement with MCC because I think a lot of people save up their seasonal points after they go through the initial season. And then the new season comes out, they unlock everything probably within the first week because they saved up a bunch of points in the meantime. And then they kind of drop off from playing. So this might be a way to keep people kind of coming back to spending more points and boosting up that engagement for the MCC. And the exchange will offer two different overarching customization categories. So one is the previously limited time seasonal content. So like some weapon skins or some different kind of armor sets or things that are tied to doing specific tasks that you can't really do anymore to unlock items. You can probably get that within the exchange. And also just new themed content as well. What you're looking at on the screen right now is the example of the exchange. This was part of the updated part of the flight that we recently got a chance to play around with. So the top bar is the limited time options available for you to unlock within the exchange. It looks like it'd be three items with a certain amount of point value to them. And then a week later, that will cycle out for a new set of items as well. Now you might be looking at the upcoming items and you see the Arctic scan for the Recon Slayer rank 25 achievement. Well, that was specifically mentioned in this development update. They did here in the development update, we will not be offering any former ranked rewards in the exchange during season six. We won't rule out the possibility of that happening in the future. I know a lot of people grinded out those ranks that earned those cool weapon camos to so really kind of, you know, flex that you earned it. That's what kind of makes customization kind of special that it feels like it's yours or you feel special for owning it. And then to just put it into the exchange for what it looked like in the example there, 10 points, that's pretty easy to get. You can earn that literally within a week doing pretty easy tasks for the most part. So it really diminishes people's wants to possibly want to grind out another rank 20 reward for season six, you know, if it's going to be in the season exchange for next season, you know what I mean? 343 did state that they are looking into finding that nice medium of the point values for these different items to where that's not like an insane grind for a camo for a weapon skin, but it's also they don't want to make it so low to where it's super easy. And that's a really fine line they have to ride right there. And talking about more content coming in there, you're probably thinking, well, I also unlocked some stuff within season six to do some kind of challenge and to have it just be put in exchange. Again, really annoying. It's stated here as well saying, additionally, challenge rewards must sit out for a minimum of one season, roughly two months after the challenge expires until they enter the exchange item pool. I think this is a very fair compromise. This is exactly what I was mentioning in a previous video that I like the idea of the exchange. So you want to give people the sense of exclusivity with these different customization items who worked for them. And I think having that exclusivity for essentially four months when you really think about it, because you get the two months for the season that you unlocked it in, and it sits out the next season as well. So it's really four months where you really get a chance to enjoy the exclusivity of that item before it gets into the loot pool, if you want to call it that way, of the exchange. Another feature you might see within the exchange is called bundles or some kind of featured item that they 
have within there. Basically, with the recent example that we had with the flight was the Ryan armor set. And basically, you can just purchase all the items of the Ryan armor set through this bundle option. And when I say buying, I mean utilizing seasonal points, which is gonna be completely free. There are gonna be never gonna be microtransactions within the MCC. So once season six finally rolls around and the exchange is implemented into the MCC, we can see exactly how this is gonna play out. But I can see how, at least with the armor sets, they come up with different bundles, so you can just pick that up right away. Now for any of you new players out there or people who are looking to get into the MCC, now is probably the best time than ever, because you're probably thinking, oh my God, this grind for seasonal points is so insane, I'm not gonna be able to keep up with it. Well, the thing is that the first 100 levels that you rank up in the MCC, you will gain one seasonal point for each rank up, which is really cool. And then also with season six, they actually stated here saying, players also earn XP through challenges, increasing the rate at which they level up. We've increased XP payout for some challenges with season six, but this will be even faster than before. Now I'm sure some of you XP grinders out there are probably like, well, dude, I've put so much time into the game and someone else can just get out super quickly. That's not exactly what's really gonna happen as well as, you know, this is probably gonna be the last year of MCC. Uh, when November rolls around, likely Halo Infinite will be released at that point, which we talked about in a previous video from a, uh, I guess a slip of a tongue almost, of the voice actor for Master Chief mentioned November release date. And this isn't like free XP for everybody, just, you know, they increase some XP payouts for some challenges and the first 100 tiers, you earn a seasonal point. I think that's fair. So this is the part I'm sure most of you are concerned about. I see it in my live streams, I see it in my comments. What about that custom game browser? We were supposed to get it in the MCC flight and it never came around. Well, it sounds like we might have to wait a little bit more to know about what's going on with the custom game browser, but it does sound pretty exciting. Postum said in this update saying, we will hopefully have some more news in the coming weeks around the custom game browser and the work that is being done that postponed it from being in the flight. But I definitely think players will be pleasantly surprised with what the publishing team has planned around it and when you can expect to get some hands-on time. Now a feature like the custom game browser is something that would definitely would need to be flighted. It's a huge addition to the game and I know a lot of people are gonna have their own thoughts about it. But will it make it into season six? Because I believe season six release date will come probably at the end of March or beginning of April. And I'd be really surprised to see another flight happen just for the custom game browser before the season six release date, because at the end of March would follow that two month cadence that they mentioned at the beginning of the year. Of course, with MCC, everything is subject to change and it's ready when it's ready. Though I totally could see the custom game browser coming in as a mid season update, which would be Totally fine on my end. I would much rather have it wait to make sure it's good before releasing it. If you guys don't know, they're actually starting out with just one game for the custom game browser, and that one game is Halo Reach. 343 stated previously that they want to start small to make sure that what they're doing with the custom game browser is something that the community likes, and so then if they need to make any changes, it's a smaller change than rather than having the entire suite of the MCC available for the custom game browser. Because when you make one change on that, it basically have to multiply that same change probably for all the rest of the games. It just adds a lot more work. Though I assume once we have the custom game browser in a good state that people like it, we will see these games being added in rather quickly. But as soon as we know any more, I guarantee you I'll make a video about the custom game browser news. So if you guys have been out of the loop for Halo for the last few days or so, or missed any content from me recently, check out the videos on the screen right here. I got a link to all my news and informational videos right there. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you all on the next one. Peace out.